Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Cuss over here at Custom Made Barbershop in Jacksonville. And today I got another video for you. Shout out to Barber Illuminati, y'all. Um, this video is going to be a, a mid skin fade. Um, I want to stress the importance of having very clean hair when you go into a barbershop. Like this young man right here, he had just washed his hair, got a chance to dry it out. And man, let me tell you, very clean hair is the easiest hair to cut. I actually, when he sat in my chair, I could smell that he had really clean hair. It smelled really fresh. When I touched his hair, I could feel that it was really clean. Something about really clean, dry hair that just, I don't know if any other barbers could agree with this, but when the hair is clean and dry, it's the easiest to cut. There's no fight back with your clippers, and it's all good, okay? Let's get into it, all right? So this right here is the number one guard, okay? I had already drew my demarcation line. This is the number one guard, and I'm fading up to cut out all the bulk, okay? So all I did before was I faded the bottom, well, I cut the bottom, balled out the bottom, and now I'm using my Andy's Masters with the number one guard, and I'm fading all the way up, okay? That's the highest point that I'm gonna do is the one guard opened all the way all right now after i fade up with this one guard what i'm gonna do is fade backwards so i'm gonna start fading downwards okay and the next step that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and close the one guard all the way so right now the lever is all the way open and the next move is to close the one guard all the way and fade slightly below that okay now here it is Okay, so this is the number one guard closed, faded slightly below the last step, okay? All right, so yeah, I gotta, I definitely gotta stress the importance of having really clean hair. So if you can tell your clients to come in after they wash their hair, if you can wash it there and sit them under the dryer for a while, you could actually charge for an extra service, okay? So here we are. The next step is no guard, okay? So once I remove all that bulk, I go ahead and take the guard off, open the lever all the way. So no guard, opened all the way, and I'm fading up about an inch, okay? I'm not sure if you guys noticed what I just did here. So I went with the one guard, opened it all the way, faded up to the highest point that I wanted to go, then closed it, faded right below that, and then I took the guard off, and I said, hey, I'm gonna fade up about an inch, all right? Just like I've been doing in the other videos. Now, this is no guard, okay? Faded, so closed. So I'm trying to knock out the bottom line right now, okay? So all I did was from one guard open to one guard closed to no guard open to no guard closed, okay? Now that no guard closed is supposed to be trying to knock out the bottom line, all right? So what I do here is sometimes Every now and then, I'll go in between uh, uh, opened all the way with no guard and closed all the way with no guard. And I'll try to see if I can get a fade right in between there. Okay, but that's not very important. It's just something that I picked up. Keep my uh, fade smooth and that transition going, okay? This is right here is going to be a fairly quick video because it's straight to the point. One, two, three steps. Very easy, easy fade technique. And like I said, I always want to stress the importance of having very clean hair when you're doing these haircuts. So if you could let your clients know, hey man, before you come in, you go ahead and wash your hair, make sure it's nice and dry, use a pretty good shampoo, conditioner, and you'll be all in, okay? Now, who could tell me the next step? Okay, now I go to the zero guard, closed in between the one and the no guard. So that step in between, because there's a gap between the one and no guard, there's a zero guard. So what I usually do is, I use that zero guard and I close it all the way. And then I fade right in between. And normally, for the most part, that's all you need to do to get a perfect fade or a perfect transition. If you guys been following my fade technique, I know I use the wall senior a lot, but uh, I had a few, uh, 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 subscribers that told me that they use the Andy's Masters and this is pretty much what I do when I use my Andy's Masters the 
same steps as the one single. So, this is the hairline. I kind of fast forward through this. Y'all go ahead and check me out. I do the uh, Kiss Express hair enhancement uh, at the end of this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram, which is custom underscore made underscore cuts. That's C-U-T-S. And uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Um, shout out to Bob Illuminati. Peace. I'll see y'all soon.